When I first joined, it was probably one of the best things I ever done. I thought that marching band was a very repulsive idea. My mom made me do it, really. I planned to do it until my senior year. Well, my older brother, um, Joshua, was in band. This season's changed a lot of things for me. If I could have gotten through it these past few years, they can too. I've been doing marching band for four years, and this band is always gonna be a part of my family forever and ever. But this year was different. And this year, our show is the story of Little Red Riding Hood, but with like a spooky twist to it. The Rite of Red is based off of Little Red Riding Hood, but it is not the story in its official form. So instead of Red running home to Grandma's house after encountering the wolf, um, we have a wolf pack, and she decides to join them instead of leaving. Um, about halfway through the show, she decides that the wolf pack is not for her and that she's going to break free. And um, the rest of the show is her leaving the wolves and then eventually them turning into red. I think that the show is very relatable because in the end, underneath all the nitty gritty details, it's about finding yourself. And I feel as though in band, you find yourself in many ways because oftentimes you're vulnerable in your abilities. And I think that even though this is about Red Riding Hood and wolves, in a way everyone can relate to it because in our life we're always trying to find ourselves. As a drum major, it was definitely hard for me to implement discipline slash authority above people, mostly because a lot of them were my age and some were older than me. So it was harder for me to determine when I was supposed to be their friend and when I was supposed to be their leadership friend. Because I always felt like I was there for them and I was a friend to them. But it was also difficult for me to decide when I should step up and be that leader and I was always scared that someone was going to be mad at me. My face burns, like really nothing else. See, my face is really... Practice on your own, five minutes, go. A couple years ago, Aiden Sparks thought that Jupiter was bigger than the sun, and so giving him a hard time about that was pretty fun. That wasn't during the Martian Man season, but we sure did give him a hard time about it during the Martian Man season. Who cares about Brandon Jacket? <laughs> <laughs> Before Audrey has her hands set, have your sticks together. When she puts her hands up, have them out. I've been doing March Man for four years, and each year I've seen something different in me. But this year, it's probably more being a better leader towards my percussion because I'm co section leader with Annika, but I've never really been noticed as much, or in my case, and I felt like I was more included this time around and more like important to the group. So that's 
all we're doing. We're not going to go on to this or you guys will hit each other. So yeah. we're going to just the carve into to throw and then up and over, okay? My biggest challenge that I had to overcome this season would definitely be having to not only learn the show this year in one week, but also teach it and make up some of it was definitely the hardest challenge. One, two. Wow, y'all suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm So can you feel their emotions even from this yeah. distance? Yeah. You can, right? That's the kind of things that we want to think about. Like a bump, but like, it's just like volume. It's your hair, and then you French braid it. I do this on mine. Um, you, I don't do it to go out in public, but you tease it, and then you braid it, and then you pull it out, so it's like a big braid. The parents are actually donating the ears that I want, so um, they gonna be big and Ooh, very noticeable, rabbit. and very, Baby very talk. clearly wolf ears and not possibly mistaken for like cat or bear ears. Honestly, um, I think it'd be pretty cool if you all have your own identity. Like there's no, like, yes, wolves all look the same, but they don't all have the same identity. You see that? Four, five, six, seven, eight. This is kind of the weird one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place close. Confusing that it's 45 and 445. 54, 45, and 445 are all like right in here. Yes. <laughs> Peekaboo. Yeah, I don't do it because I just. Peekaboo. Super proud of all of you. We're doing great stuff. We just have to make sure that we stay on it being proactive, being prepared, and being efficient. Train your brains on tomorrow. We have a lot to do tomorrow. We're going to learn a lot tomorrow. Be ready. Also, sign up for the car wash. See you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow and today, well, she knows class, that I'm not sure if I like actually have had it. I want to try it. Car wash is mandatory in this until you are in a date. I know that the date changed kind of soon, but it is supposed to be mandatory. Because here's the number. Where's my If you can't be there, I need a note. Where's my phone? 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 Where's my phone props and guard uniforms and anything like that. This year, the profits all went to our booster program, which is a relatively new program for us. And that is all parent involvement. Um, they work year round to make sure that every band has everything that they need. So this was super important for us to have a substantial amount of money in the booster account so that when we do need things, they can help support us. Um, so it's a really fun day. The kids get to work together, clean cars, hang out. Um, this year in particular, we also were working on guard choreography the entire day because we were having some issues with that. Um, so it was just a really fun time, a good bonding experience, good food. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It is my mom. My grandma. Cool. Hi. Hi. I thought I would do that. Hello. <laughs> Let's go, EG fans. Yay. Yes, sir. I love my band student. I love all of them. <laughs> So the band has really become a family to me. 
Um, the parents to start with are amazing. They will do anything at the drop of a hat, regardless of if I ask them to or not. I mean, these parents have essentially become my parents as well. I refer to several of them as mom and dad because my parents are so far away. My whole family being involved in band has actually strengthened our family life here at school and at home. My mom and Nana have both been involved since my brother joined band. And with that, our family does a lot of things together. at the same time as you reach the dock, okay? Okay, so what you want to do, like, when you're marching, like, if you ever join March Man, you want to, like, roll your feet, so, like, just look at my feet real quick. You want to roll your feet so it keeps your trumpet stable. This is, like, this way. Okay, cut it off. The main reason a kid should join marching band is that you get to be connected to so many different groups inside our one community. One thing that I've found while being at Eastern is that for such a small school, I feel like there's still a lot of disconnect between activities. And in marching band, we have such a big culmination of so many different activities represented that kids get to meet people that they wouldn't meet in any other situation. My second year of marching band, which would have been Aiden's first year, he was very mean to me, but that's because that was his sarcastic, joking nature. But I'm very sensitive and I didn't take it the right way. And so the whole summer, hated him, tried to avoid him. But because you spend so much time with each other, whether or not you dislike a person, you actually grow to love them regardless. Um, oh, he's coming later today. Okay, well, I'll, just, uh, I'll just make the... So this summer was particularly hot um, and students tend to get tired and less motivated when it's that hot. Um, so one thing that we tried to implement as much as possible was as many water breaks as possible. Um, but I'm really bad about that. So I had a student on a timer and she had to raise her hand every time we got to 30 minutes so that we would stop for a water break. Um, one day in particular, I felt like the band was just very down. Everything that I give you is something to help you, not to hurt you, yeah? So just keep that in mind. Two weeks before the season started, I had a really bad anxiety attack about how I wouldn't be able to get any of the moves and how this was a brand new thing and it was going to be more difficult than anything I've ever tried. I got this. You got it, Miranda. I am enough. I am enough. I am loved. I am loved. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I'm going to work hard and give it all I got. I'm going to work hard and give it all I got. I'm going to make today great. I'm going to make today great. Go on three. One, two, three, go! I overcame um, all of the challenges by actually Miranda and Macy. They gave us certain talks when they saw that we were doing the best and that we were really getting down. It reminded me that we are family and we all do work together and that we can help each other.
something. No, on. I yeah. need the pass section. That beat. Yeah, we should do it. It'd be a yeah, lot no, easier. <laughs> First week we had a really solid goal, right? Get movement one done and on the field by the end of the first week. And did we do it? Yes. We did. Percussion, did you get the whole show memorized in one week? Yeah. Because we had a very solid goal. Last week, did we have a goal? Not, Not really. really. No. And I take blame for that. It's on me. This week, I want the entire show on the field drill. Not music. Just drill. All of movement two will be on the field with music. Movement three, just drill. But the show will be completed on Friday. This isn't an if, this isn't a when, this isn't a maybe. The show will be done on Friday. Got it? Got it. Say, the show will be done on Friday. The show will be done on Friday. Friday. With drill. Not with, um, with drill. <laughs> with drill. <laughs> Slight disclaimer. It's like asterisks and then... I've got to get the trash right here. Oh, He's helping for motion. So make sure they're all even. So let's try first four measures again. Okay. Five, six, seven. the field that'll do it don't move your arms so much you're freaking everybody out <laughs> which is partially the goal no they will deal with that okay. they should deal with their own because they know when to have it plugged in okay cool. relax you. you have to make them run no. No, Shelly, that goes against that is the rules. also illegal. <laughs> I think my brain's moving. Just sit <laughs> down. <laughs> do as I ask you to do. Percussion, sit down. Every day is leg day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> it is the day before the competition. We do not have time to call your name seven times just to get your attention. If I am talking, Jackson's talking, any of the staff are talking, you are listening. We don't have time for this.
that? Yeah. yeah. I misunderstood what you meant, so yes, we can do that. Wait, same thing, go over to our... Alright, Aiden, what is it? Idiot. You complete imbecile. Yeah, you probably why I'm not AP Bio. Yeah, as I was gonna say, you know, <laughs> AP, you know AP Bio loser. You are? Set, movement three. Don, horns down! <laughs> You can do it. We all know you can do it. But don't be so hard on yourself. Relax. It's okay. Why? Out of all the people in the Tensions are high. People are stressed. Your bodies know what to do. Your noggins know what to do. So just breathe. Everybody take a deep, deep breath. <laughs> deep breath in. <laughs> and let it go. Okay. <laughs> Keep this zen until we perform again, okay? B. This is a bomb. This is a carpet. Yeah, but I don't like them. We know this. Okay. Where? Back to zen. Here we go. Back to zen. It's probably on my face. I don't know. Okay. But actually, like, chill, okay? You all know what you need to do. We are all capable of doing it. Yes? Yes. Yes, ma'am. We are all capable of greatness. We can do this. He was like, you remember Alexandria? And I was like, what is that? And he was like, it's a band. And I was like, asking Alexandria? Like the hardcore screamo band? And he's like, no, Annika, the marching band. And I was like, oh, I forgot that even existed. So. I'm her, I'm her half-sister. <laughs> I'm her half-sister. I'm back. Uh, so this year's seniors are my official first group of seniors. Last year I essentially co-taught marching band, so this year it was completely on me. And I feel like, you know, I put a lot of um, responsibility on their shoulders to help guide the band as they are the most experienced. and. They're helping me learn every day. And so saying goodbye to this group of seniors is gonna be really difficult for me because you know I've gotten to know them so much better and I see how special they are as people and it's gonna be so cool to watch them grow up into like real adults. But um, I think it's also gonna, we're gonna feel it here that we are missing such a special group of kids. On the way to competitions, I either do two things. First thing would be think about all my parts, think about every note I hit because it's all muscle memory. Think about spots maybe that I have a tendency to mess up on, but try not to think about them too much. But most of the time I do the second, which is not think about the show at all. Because if anything, if I think about it too much, I'm gonna make a disastrous mistake. So I try my best to think about the trees that are outside, whatever Aiden's talking about, which is usually video games, or, you know, the weather, how much sunscreen I'm going to apply. Nothing about the show, because if I think about the show, it's bound to be terrible. So, I try to distract myself when I'm on the bus.
I don't want that to mean that you drag. So just lock in. If you have to lock in with Casey, that's fine. You've got it. I'm not worried about it. Okay? Not great. Plus, not hearing the bandwidth, it does make it a little bit. It's like I was watching the whole time. I don't know why. It's fine. It'll fix itself. I don't know, but the music they're playing kind of is. Come on. Come on. Guys, you don't need your instruments. Just to come get in the picture. Move back. No, back. Short people, second row. Standing there. I feel great. I actually really have to pee right now, but I feel good, so I'm not nervous. So that's good at least. <laughs> so get in line. We don't have time. Yeah. Get it. Okay. I'm feeling really hot. I'm feeling really nervous because we tend to mess up the eighth notes in movement one. So um, if those go okay, I'll be okay, but we'll see. How we do? No matter how the show is going, or if you feel as though it's gonna be a success, or it's gonna be a failure, you always feel the same gut-wrenching fear when you're about to go on. Because when there's a band playing, and you are not the first band right after them, but the second, you're allowed to stand there, quietly talk with your band members, and just get out little jitters before you go on. But when you're the band right after the band that's currently performing, you have to respectfully turn your back and face the other direction so you're not watching the band. And it's the most terrifying feeling because all you're doing is hearing what's going on behind you, you're not seeing, and you're just knowing that you're up next and you're staring at dirt, wondering how's it gonna go? Am I gonna mess up? Is everyone gonna see me? If I make a tiny mistake, it could affect our entire score. And then it could affect our history in band in the future because we'll have this reputation of that one time I messed up and I failed the band. So thousands of thoughts are going through your mind and if they're not going through everyone else's, they're definitely going through mine. And it just makes you realize in the end, after you feel this awful abundance of fear, it makes you realize that you care about band a lot more than you think you do. When I'm walking out on the field as a drum major, I'm by myself and it's just you walk out and there's no one else around you. So everybody can see you. So I felt like all the way up until I got on that podium, eyes were on me.
and Eastern Green High School, the Marching Thunderbirds. <laughs> Under the direction of Perry Bernstein. Their show title, The Right of Red. Their repertoire is The Right of Spring by Stravinsky. Ooh. Making their 17th appearance at Band Day, please welcome the Marching Thunderbirds. Eastern Green High School, the Marching Thunderbirds! Yay! Assistant Director, Jackson McClellan. Drum Major, Audrey Taylor. Their staff consists of Jordan Mosser, Jason Childress, Rebecca Cronyet, Casey Mitchell, Becca Cronyet, and Rebecca Conrad. Their principal is Eric Kirkendall. Let's hear it for the Marching Thunderbirds! Um, you know, there was a big storm out, so the trees fell. <laughs> just kidding. Um, it's okay. Some of the trees fell, but we worked around it really well, and we just adapted to what we were given, so I think it went really well. Music sounded really good today. What? As I was walking off the, f the field at State Fair, a lot of more current thoughts were going through my head, like, oh man, we messed up here. This happened, so the marching band was not as good. But then looking back at it, it, it's more of an accomplishment that we were able to do this with the circumstances that were presented to us. And I'm just glad that I was able to be a part of that and knowing that that was something that I would never forget or leave behind.
what was going through my head was that I wish I did better, that I tried to do my best even though the show wasn't as great as it could have been. Like I felt like I wasn't at my best, but even though it was my last show and it wasn't my best, it still meant a lot to me that we were able to put it on the show despite the circumstances and despite being like half a rookie band. Okay, so it's just you go back and forth. Whoever's arm is in, we just take. Whoever's arm is straight, wins. Whoever's out is in. Set. Down by the banks of the Hanky Tanky, where the bullfrogs come from, bank to bank, from the east. We've been with you guys uh, since the pre-day all the way through Jay County, Muncie, until today. What I want for my students to get out of this program and this summer is to have a sense of accomplishment. I want them to feel like they have really achieved something, have really improved on something. And that was my motivation all summer. Um, I did not care if we made night show. I did not care what the judges said in terms of placement. All I cared was that the students went out on the field, did their best, and were happy and satisfied with that. But like, <laughs> it just be like that sometimes. Hey, you guys did great. Yeah. Don't, don't put this off as a loss. You realize how young of a band this is? Yeah. And how much potential you guys have? Yeah. And half of you guys are rookies. Yeah. This oh, yeah. is really good for literally half the band being rookies. Yeah. yeah. You guys should have listened to the tapes. Do not put yourself down for this. We have come so far this season. As a group, as individuals, every single one of you put 110 in and we put the best product out that we can, okay? I want you guys to know how proud I am of you. What happens on the field happens on the field. So all the people who are really happy. We have no reason not to be just as happy, okay? We have all grown as a family. We've grown as people. And we put a great product out there regardless of what the judges think. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah. 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 Our placement this year never really meant anything to me. What mattered to me was students feeling accomplished, trying something new as we have never done a show like this before. So I cared most that the students enjoyed what they did on the field and had a pride in their show. Um, we had a young band, we had <clears throat> a very small band, and so in turn we did the best that we could. And in the end that's the only thing that matters. Yay band!